Hello and welcome back to another episode of Twice as Interesting. Today, we're gonna be talking about an extreme anomaly. Something so ominous and mysterious that we barely know much about it. Yet, it's essentially an area in space made up of almost nothing. Today, we're discussing the Buatis Void. So what is the Buatis Void? Well, first off, it's spelled out Buatis, not boots or booties. The Void was found by astronomer Robert Kirshner and his team back in 1981 when they noticed an eerily empty hole in the universe. And this isn't any small hole. This void measures at an astonishing 250 million light years in diameter, which is about 0.27% of the entire diameter of the universe. In comparison, if the universe is the diameter of a six foot tall person, the Willoughby's void measures at around half a centimeter. This comparison isn't as daunting as it really is, but thinking in the big picture of the universe really makes it. Another way the size has been described is from an astronomer, Greg Aldering. He says that if our Milky Way galaxy was put into the middle of the void, we wouldn't have discovered other galaxies until the 1960s. And for humans to be discovering other galaxies at that point is much later than when we discovered our first neighboring galaxy, the Andromeda Galaxy in the year 1929. When the void was first discovered back in 1981, Kirshner's team were only able to find very few galaxies inside it. Now with much more advanced technology, astronomers have estimated the found amount of galaxies to be closer to 60 total galaxies. Although galaxies seem to have an incredible size to them, which they do, most clusters and superclusters surrounding the void have an upwards of 2,000 galaxies inside of an area that is much smaller than the void itself. Getting into the density of galaxies again, it has been described like this. Imagine traveling across an area a little larger than the continental United States and encountering only 60 objects that measure at one mile in length. Now, how did this super void come into existence? Well, we don't actually have a clear answer on that. As of now, there's one main theory that may explain the formation of the void. So the formation of smaller voids is very common in the universe. Between galaxies, there are small pockets of mostly empty space. These small voids are formed when small numbers of galaxies begin to draw each other closer together, leaving behind empty space that isn't filled by other neighboring galaxies. The small voids are then believed by Aldering to coalesce by gravitational forces into larger voids. Even though this seems to be a very convincing theory, we just don't have enough evidence to conclude that this is why it exists. All of the ideas and theories have been carried out through computer simulations, which by themselves don't make a theory any more truthful than it initially is. But despite the most scientific and probable theory, there are always the outlandish theories, a theory that is unlikely to be true and based solely off of science fiction is the idea that the void was created from an incredibly advanced civilization. This strange theory describes a nomadic intergalactic civilization that uses the energy from the stars as their primary source of power and energy. This speculated civilization uses Dyson shells, or spheres, to absorb the energy various stars project outward. Dyson spheres are a topic that may be gone into further detail in a future episode. This civilization has been presumed to have developed for about 4 billion years, which is definitely enough time to develop such advanced technology and intergalactic travel and energy consumption. Now, although it's a very interesting and fun theory, it's widely disregarded by scientists and very likely to be false. We don't know if humanity will live long enough or develop the technology to reach the Buatis Void. At a distance of about 700 million light years away from Earth, it would make it a very, 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 very long road trip. Even if we don't reach the Buatis Void during our existence, it's still an astronomical marvel that we've discovered and appreciate to know. Although the cause of its existence is still unclear, the real formation of the void could give us a new and better understanding on how the universe works and expands. And until we do, we can only wonder what its purpose could give us. 
This was Twice as Interesting, signing out.